Greetings and salutations everyone, this is Tamo Shanter and this is not a game but an update and uh, you've probably noticed it's been a little quiet here. Um, that is not, nothing bad has happened. I'm just, um, I haven't had a lot of time recently. I'm running around trying to um, get things done before I have surgery on my elbow next week. Um, I've had a job interview. Uh, I've been ridiculously tired. Uh, the weather as I'm sure probably Trucker Gamer, if you're listening, he can probably uh, attest to <laughs> the same weather, same-ish weather that I'm having now. Um, he might have got snow. We didn't get snow here, but um, it went from like being 90 degrees, 95 degrees, to being 40 degrees and wet. <laughs> it's, it's raining. It's rained um, for a solid at least 24 hours nonstop. Uh, rain or mist. I mean, there's moisture coming out of the sky continuously, and it's literally about 40 degrees outside. <clears throat> actually, I can actually see what time. I think it was about 45. I think it made it up to the 50s today. Ugh. But it's been, um, yeah, my, uh, my phone says it's 48 degrees and raining, and I know it's raining because my dogs came back inside wet. So, yeah, it was like 90-something uh, the other day, like two days ago, and now it's 40-something and wet, and uh, yesterday was really windy. Um, I had an interview yesterday. My uh, sleep got all kinds of uh, screwed up, so I'm really tired. I'm not going to get a video up uh, tonight. This is Wednesday. Um, I'm going to shoot for Friday. Um, hopefully... We won't have anything happen by Friday, and it might be a good thing. Um, the the last uh, since last Wednesday, the time has just gone by like in a snap, and I'm trying to get all these things done. Literally, I had appointments to go, you know, pre-surgery appointments and um, paperwork that need to be filled out for work. And I had a job interview yesterday, which was, of course, since I work third shift in the middle of my night. I got a little bit of sleep, then I had to go to an interview, and then I came home and got a little bit more sleep and had to go to work. So pretty much that sucked ass. Um, I thought I was going to die last night. I was so tired. Um, you know, so I haven't been even near this computer, really. I've been going home and going to bed because I'm just tired or I knew I needed to be someplace and need to uh, squeeze in as much sleep as possible before I had to go. Um... It's also the, this is the last day of my work week, uh, Wednesday, and, um, I'm just done. <laughs> I'm just fucking done. Um, I expect to sleep most of the day tomorrow. Um, the weather's going to be shitty anyway, so I'm not going to be able to hang out with the dogs outside or anything like that. Um, so maybe that will help me be caught up for Friday. We'll get another video up and I'll get some, uh, videos recorded. Um, Friday and maybe Thursday overnight. We'll see how tired I am on Friday. So right now, I've slept all day and uh, I've just gotten up about an, an hour and a half ago and I feel like I didn't sleep at all today. <laughs> it's, it's really not good. Also, the weather does these things to me. Um, it affects my mother much, much worse. Um, weather when you have big fronts and big changes in the weather like this, um, normally I get migraines from them, but sometimes I also get really sleepy, really blah. <laughs> I just don't have, it's not like I have a lack of motivation. It's just like, it seems like I can't quite get on top of not being tired, you know, on, on being tired so that I'm not tired. I don't know what the hell that's about. I don't know, pressure. It's, some, some, it's something to do with the barometric, uh, barometric pressure, I know. Um, it, it definitely affects my migraines, though. This uh, was a big front that came through and caused a huge change in weather. Um, it didn't set off any migraines for me, uh, which is nice because usually they do. Like if there's a really bad thunderstorm or like there was a small tornado in the city a few years ago, um, yeah, I didn't make it to work that day because I had a migraine because there was a tornado, you know, 10 miles away from me because <laughs> of the, so much pressure. I could feel it. So I get the uh, migraines, um, Spurned on, uh, spurred on by weather changes, especially um, in the spring and in the fall is when they happen the most. When the weather's pretty steady 
in the winter and in the summer it's not as bad um, but so even so if we get a bad storm in the summertime or a bad winter's time storm where there where there's a big pressure thing then I get migraines it's really ridiculous and I get very 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 bad migraines um, some people get you know less mild migraines mine only respond to narcotics and um, they don't respond to narcotics well uh, it still hurts it's just that I don't care <laughs> still a lot of pain it's just that I have so much drugs in my body that I don't fucking care if it hurts I'm fluffy <laughs> so I'm like ah owie that really hurts fuck ah kind of like that uh, my the, they run in both sides of my family my uh, mom's sister and my dad's brother uh, all uh, both have terrible migraines my great grandmother on my dad's side also had terrible migraines which they used to call sick headaches because you'd get a headache and then you'd get sick um, which is terrible there's nothing like puking when it already feels like your brain is trying to squirt out of every orifice in your body and like somebody's hitting you in the head with a baseball bat every two and a half seconds or every second whatever puking is not what you want to be doing when your head is pounding like that because it just makes everything way worse uh, my niece has complex migraines and they cause her to go temporarily blind <laughs> so, uh, she loses her vision it goes bye-bye uh, when she's having a migraine it starts slowly but it goes completely completely blind can't see a thing um, so yeah we have that that problem in my family um, so all of that was talking about why the pressure affects me um, I don't know what causes my niece's uh, migraines I don't know what caused uh, my aunt, aunt has passed away I don't know what caused her migraines my uncle I don't know what his triggers are mine by and large are caused by weather and um, lack of sleep and sometimes too much sleep are also triggers for me I'm not really triggered by food or uh, things like that um, it's usually sleep and weather so yeah the, the weather affects me badly but right now I just feel tired I feel like I haven't slept all day so and all of that is to say basically I'm gonna try to start posting again on Friday um, I'm definitely not gonna make it tonight I just don't have time to render a video starting right now and then upload it I'll have to go to work before it's finished so I'm, it's not gonna happen and it didn't happen this morning because uh, as I said I came di directly home and went directly to bed so I didn't do anything um, like that and so we're gonna try to get some more videos recorded um, I noticed that I need to record some more um, Miss Survival because I don't have many of those left I thought I had more recorded but I guess not so I'm gonna try to do some of that um, over my weekend here upcoming so um, yeah I've just been busy busy and tired <laughs> kind of like the story of my week uh, here um, and all of that kind of stuff but that's where we are um, I'm trying I'll try to get something up on Friday um, Friday is my second day off so I, I should be in a much better place come Friday Thursday tomorrow I'm gonna be fucking tired I can tell you already um, but yeah tomorrow tomorrow should be much better and uh, like I said I had a job interview that was yesterday um, yeah, it's with our uh, state police uh, not to be a state trooper because let's face it I'm over the age of 55 and they don't hire troopers that are over the age of 55 I'm also um, not in the physical physical shape that one would need to be in order to be in any law enforcement arena other than the one I work in um, I'm not gonna run anybody down from behind let's just say that um, uh, so yeah um, uh, it would be for it's for a dispatching position um, so I'm hoping um, to get out of my job that I dislike so much um, via this job it is a huge pay cut um, but the realities are besides the fact that I just don't like where I work anymore and I'm you know 22 years into it I just I don't want to do it anymore just I'm done um, 
and the other reality. That's one reality. I'm just, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. I, I absolutely don't want to. <laughs> just don't want to. Uh, I have to for them until I find another job, but I don't want to. And um, the other reality is that I am over the age of 55. And um, I work with juveniles in a correctional setting. Um, so it's not a job for older people. <laughs> Um, I don't know how old everybody is that's uh, uh, that uh, is a subscriber here. All 15, 15 of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, but imagine yourself, uh, if you're not over the age of 55, imagine someone you know who's over the age of 55 wrestling with teenagers for a living. Big, strong, young, violent teenagers who are trying to pound your fucking head in and don't care. Okay, it's not like the kid across the street gets mad at you and takes a half-hearted swing at your head. No, they don't freaking care. One of our one of our current inmates who shot and killed a police officer. Uh, the officer just died uh, two days ago. He, sh he was shot two weeks ago and he, he passed away uh, two days ago. So, and the child that shot him the young man was involved in another murder, which is the reason they were serving the warrant um, in the first place where the officer was shot. So these are the kinds of kids I deal with. <laughs> these are not, they don't fucking care. They don't care. Um, and to be honest, uh, when I started this job, one, the kids were less violent. They were still strong and they were still young. They were uh, less violent. Um, it was uncommon for us to have a murderer in, in our building. I think we have three or four in our building now uh, out of 19. Um, so it's a pretty high percentage. Um, it was rare for us to have one. Um, there was one when I started. There was a kid in there for a murder. Um, but, the, you know, most of the kids that were in 20 some years ago when I started uh, were in for stealing cars and burglary and smoking weed and other dumb shit that kids do shoplifting and now they're in for firing guns at each other shooting at houses shooting at cars killing people rape uh armed robbery uh drug dealing blah -de blah -de blah 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 um and I can deal with all of that. I mean, it's just part of the job knowing th these kids do really bad things. And and the, the the sad and scary thing is that some of these kids, you think these kids are evil little monsters. But when you work with them every day and you get to know them, you know, most of them aren't. They do terrible, terrible things, yes. But they're pleasant. They're artistic. Not all of them are pleasant. Some of them are decidedly not pleasant. They're artistic. Some of them are smart. Um, you know, some of them are really smart. Um, some of them are really funny. They're very nice to talk to. They're very charming. Uh, and they have a lot of potential, but they end up, you know, tossing it all down the shithole so they can do dumbass shit with their gangbanging friends. And, uh, you know, it's kind of sad, honestly. But um, the reality is that sometimes I have to wrestle <laughs> wrestle with these kids and I'm just over it, fucking over it. I don't want to wrestle. I'm at an age where I don't just don't fucking, I don't want to wrestle with anybody, to be honest. It's tiresome. It just, <laughs> the whole thought of it just, it's like, no, why? Why are you going to make me fight with you? I don't want to fight. I just want to sit and have a nice evening, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, um... Yeah, that's the reality of the deal is um, every year that I'm there, I get older and these kids do not get older. They're still 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. And every year I'm older and it sucks more to fight with them. <laughs> I just don't want to anymore. It's not an old people's job. Um, uh, the dispatching job that I have applied for is a gig that I could... Uh, roll with for several years into the future because it's not physically demanding. I don't have to wrestle with anybody, best as I could tell from the comm center. Maybe, I don't know, maybe people wrestle over their stations. I don't know. Didn't ask them if there were wrestling matches that ever took place. 
I'm going to assume no, but you never know. Stranger things have probably happened. Um, so I'm just, um, for my own um, mental and physical well-being, uh, I need to find a different place to call home. Um, I'm just done with where I'm at. So, yeah, anyway, this has gone 15 minutes. That's probably plenty enough of listening to me babble on. Um, so, uh, again, thank you all for subscribing and hanging out. Um, hang in there. I'm going to try to get a video on Friday. I should get one up. And I'm going to try to get a bunch of stuff recorded uh, Friday, maybe Thursday overnight and Friday. Because I have a feeling I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow, so I'll be up all night Thursday. So I'll probably get a lot of gaming in Thursday and Friday. And uh, we'll get some videos posted for the rest of the week. Um, I don't know about next Friday if there's going to be a video. Um, that is the day after surgery. Um, I don't need to really type anything, and I could type one-handed what I need to type to post a video as far as tags and all that are concerned, and I can just mouse with my right left hand um, enough to get a video posted up. Um, but it's really going to depend upon how fucking much my elbow hurts, because if it's really hurting, um, I might be sitting in a corner going, ah, instead of posting videos, okay? <laughs> Just like, um, but hopefully everything, the schedule will hopefully get uh, back on track uh, this upcoming Friday, then in like the day after tomorrow, Friday. I hope. Um, this week has just kind of been a blur. So that's where we're at. That's why there hasn't been any videos. I'm going to try to catch up with y'all here, like I said, on Friday. Um, so thanks for hanging out, um, even though there aren't any videos this week. Um, we'll do better. Okay, and I hope you guys are all doing good and had a good weekend and stay safe out there if you're where the weather's being wonky uh, and snowing and all that kind of crazy shit. And if you're where the fires are, please be safe for that, because that's some crazy-ass shit, too. And I'm going to sign out of here and take a nap for about an hour before I have to go to work. So you guys be cool, uh, be kind, be safe, wear your mask, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.